Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube page. Um, today I thought I'd make a video all about autumn winter skin. Um, in England it's approaching autumn winter and in these cold times you should have to adapt my skin tone, well my skin, my skin type to the weather and um, because in summer I usually try and keep my skin a little bit matter and just less oilier because it's just so hot. Well it, in the like the hot weather we've got in England for a while but um, now um, because it's winter my skin usually gets really like dry because um, it's just so cold so I really have to adapt my skin to it so um I'm just gonna do a little makeup tutorial for you today all on winter skin and how I prep my skin for it I'm avoiding moisturizing my skin using the Darfin Hydrolite moisturizer which looks like that it's amazing um I haven't used it a lot this summer because um I was using my um Kiehl's oil free moisturizer but I really like this because um it's a really nice moisturizer without feeling too heavy and it's really just moisturizes skin and it feels really light on the skin um, I've already did my eyebrows because my eyebrows just take the longest and I thought I'd just um, want this video to be quick as possible so I'm like I'm not wasting your time doing my eyebrows because it is a long process and yes my hair is black and um, if you noticed my other videos I had like um, blonde at the front so I just dyed it black and um, well, I'll put a, a, like another dark well, another black dye in it to make it extra black so it probably looks a bit too black so um, my eyebrows look a bit lighter so Anyway, but I've used um, Prep and Prime on today. I've got it on already just to um, mattify the skin and help my foundation last longer. So um, here we go. Um, I'm going to put my foundation on first. Um, I haven't used this foundation in quite a while actually. I used it the other night when I DJ'd at a bar um, in Dalston and um, it really photographs amazingly. Oh my god. I used Studio Tech and I, I mixed it with a bit of... Um, new max prep and prime beauty bomb um you can wear this alone but it is really sheer but they bought this out i think two weeks ago but i only bought it last week because they didn't have the stands and this is amazing by itself you should check these out if you ever bought um the max skin smoother it's like that but in a bomb and it comes from a nice compact mirror and it's that like like that color but um the colors are a bit funny i'm not sure if it's because of the formula of the like the sort of um it's like a really nice sort of Vaseline balm like as a foundation but I think because of the formula the colours are a bit funny but I just mix it a bit and I put it on top so um I'm gonna use my studio um tech in NC50 um I use NC50 in winter because my skin does go a bit lighter in the winter and then um, I've been using NC50 because um it's, it's really been looking nice to my skin more than the NW but um I can use either so I'm gonna use my um, matte Geo fiber brush and let's buff this on um, you can apply this in different ways. You can um, you can apply it with a foundation brush or a sponge. It just depends on your sort of like preference, really. Um, so there you have it. I've got my um, Studio Tech on, and um, the finish is really nice, as you can see. Um, it is medium coverage. I think you can build it to full, but it's mostly a medium foundation. Sorry guys, I really need to get some more bright lights, but you can see the finish by there. I'm just gonna um, use some Prep and Prime Beauty Balm on top because even though it does dry to a powder, some pi some people find it really, really mattifying, but I don't really, really, I don't find it really powdery on me, but I'm just gonna use this balm to give it a really nice moisturizing sheen. I'm gonna stick something like that and I'm just gonna pull it all over. This balm is like, gorgeous it's really moisturizing for the skin and as i say it's, it's a sheer coverage so i just that's why i love mixing it with something else because the coverage wouldn't be beneficial for me but it is nice if you just want to go to the gym or if you just want to run down the road or get a coffee with someone there you have it so guys my hair is such a mess <laughs> literally like i had it done the other day but it's really going flumpy on me well floppy because i haven't had any hairspray or anything so i got my beauty bomb on there and my um studio tech and as for a concealer um what shall i use and um, because it's winter you're gonna want your concealer to stay on and not get too cakey so um i'm really just gonna go back to using my mid like Pro Conceal Palette. I'm gonna use NW45 in this palette. I'm just gonna get my concealer brush. If I can find it. I'm gonna use my two two eight six um, dual fiber concealer brush. It's a bit dirty. I used it earlier, but it's fine. I'm just gonna use NW45 this color and put it under my eye. This creamy formula is not going to dry really matte. It's really just going to cover any sort of darkness you have. And you can set it with a powder. Uh, 
There you go, I've got my concealer on. As you can see, sorry guys about the lighting again. Um, actually, I'm also gonna do um, a winter style video. So after this video, I'm actually gonna do a winter style video on what my favorite winter pieces are, or what I've got in my closet. I need to buy some more winter clothes, but um, yeah, so you've got that video to look forward to. So I'm uploading two videos tonight. Whoop. Um, okay, I've got done concealer. Um, now I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna keep this uh, makeup look this makeup look simple because for winter um I don't really like to wear like, a lot of makeup. But I usually just wear foundation, concealer, and I love a really nice highlighter. So I'm gonna use um, Nars's Laguna and put it on the cheeks. This is Nars Laguna. It's the multiple stick which looks like this. So I'm really gonna pat that on the cheeks. Give a nice glow. I love highlighters in winter. It's, I love just having like a very, not like not like a powdery highlighter. But I love creams in winter because creams really just blend into the skin more well and just look a bit more natural. Can you see that highlight there? I love Laguna because it's more like of a goldy color. If you can see, it's got a gold color and it's really nice and deeper skin tones. Well, it works well on any skin tone really. But I like it on me. Dabbing it there. You can also do the Cupid's bow. And put a little highlight on the lip. And... What I'm also loving at the moment, which I had to put in this video, I went to the Mac Pro store the other day and I had this beautiful highlighter. It's called Dusk and it's a cream colour base. That's called Dusk. Is that gonna focus? And it's it's like a, a sort of metallic highlighter. Um it doesn't go, it look it's like a grey, grey matte highlighter, but it doesn't look grey on the skin. I'm gonna put a bit of this on for you as well. I put swatches on my blog so you can see the colour. And it looks like that. It's just added that more intense shine. Like that. It's really nice on the skin. It's like a really nice highlighter. Like a really nice natural. I'm putting that on top of Laguna. It doesn't look ashy on the skin if, you, if that's what you're wanting, but it's just really beautiful. And what else am I going to put on the skin? Hmm, I might feel like putting a lip colour on. I'm gonna put Spirit on by MAC. And um, this is like, um, it's a satin lip, so I'm gonna put this on my lips. A really nice nude for winter. Um, obviously because summer's gone so you can still wear bright colours but I love nudes for winter and I never wear, really wear bright colours anyway so that's spirit and then obviously you want to powder this look but because winter still dries up my skin I'm going to use a MAC mineralized natural powder in deep dark because even though these, this is a powder it's just going to like mattify the skin but it's got Jehovah oil in it so it's really going to moisturise the skin as well mattify it down so it's not going to give me a complete matte finish I'm just gonna powder center my forehead. I'm not gonna powder the cheeks because I want I want them to stay um, really like dewy and have that nice sheen. So I'm just gonna powder where needed. And there you have it guys, a quick, simple winter tutorial look. Thanks for watching, <laughs> bye.
Have a good day.